Pokemon Detective Pikachu is the first live action attempt of a Pikachu movie directed by Rob Letterman who gave us goosebumps based on Pokemon franchise created by Satoshi Tanjiri and the 2016 video game of the same name. Stars Ryan Reynolds, Catherine Newton, Justice Smith, Suki Waterhouse, and the story of Detective Pikachu follows an ace detective named Harry Goodman and he goes mysteriously missing and this puts his 21 year old basically puts his 21 year old son Tim in charge to find out what happened to him what happened aiding in the investigation is Harry's former partner the wise-cracking, adorable super sleuth, Detective Pikachu. Pikachu! Finding that they are uniquely equipped to work together, as Tim is the only human who can talk with Pikachu, they join forces to unravel the tangled mystery. But not without f going through s finding some other Pikachus along the way. Detective Pikachu was a fun time. I gotta admit, Detective Pikachu was a fun time. Now, this isn't the best video game adaptation movie, but it's definitely up there. Because Mortal Kombat will always be my favorite video game movie adaptation. But Detective Pikachu definitely stood out on its own. It was funny when it needed to be, it was entertaining when it needed to be, it had a very, yes, the, the plot is what we've seen before, but I didn't really mind it because it's still, it was still a pretty good movie. I love the creature designs of all the Pikachus. All the Pikachus in this movie look really good. Mewtwo looked great. Snubball was good. All, all of the Pikachu, the Psyduck was really good. All of the Pikachu's were great. I loved the way the Pikachu's looked in here, especially Ryan Reynolds as Detective Pikachu. Pikachu, he was so, he's very cute and huggable. That you, even with CGI. And this is kind of like Deadpool a little bit because Ryan Reynolds does play Deadpool and it does kind of feel a little like that. So he does bring his little Deadpool vibes into the role even if it has to be toned down for PG but Pikachu looks really great. I love the motion capture and the facial work they put into him. Justice Smith was really great. I liked him. I didn't mind him in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, but he was pretty annoying at parts. Bill Nighy was pretty good. I liked Rita Ora. Suki Waterhouse was pretty good. Captain New the acting was good. Direction-wise, the direction is really, really solid. Rob Letterman, you can tell he loves making family films, and this movie is no exception. And I loved his work with Goosebumps, 2015. The music is really great, too. I really love the music, and I really like how this movie is shot. So, at the end of the day, if it's a lot of it's a lot of fun to just sit back and watch. Detective Pikachu. This music is really great. I love the cinematography and the and the editing. The editing was really great. And this is coming from Warner Bros. and Legendary, because Warner Bros. and Legendary they they get to have so, some say in some of the Toho properties. So I gotta say, Detective Pikachu was good. If you ain't seen Detective Pikachu, then you then you should, because Detective Pikachu is definitely a very fun time, and I'm gonna give Detective Pikachu 
and epitastic. The only problem though, like I said, the plot is basically recycled and the villain was a little weak. But this is definitely one of the better video game adaptation movies and and a sequel is already coming so we're going to get a sequel. So yes, we're, we're, we're getting a sequel to Detective Pikachu. Let me know what you guys think of Detective Pikachu down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? And I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys keep cool and join the epitaph.